Hi everyone, it's Cindy with Unique Times and Uniquely Fit. And I wanted to talk to you today about creation because we all have times in our life where we are completely inspired, things come naturally. We may have read a really good book um, and we may have looked at a vista that was beautiful, had a wonderful meditation, gone on a trip, something that struck that passion of creativity inside of us. We all know those times when we are sitting with writer's block and we can't think of a thing to say, no matter how long we sit. We have read all of the books, all of the great artists and, and authors that tell us just sit and things will come. So I want to say a few things about that. One is we need to sit and honor that process. The next thing that some people do is come up with amazing poetry through systems, through different forms. They follow all sorts of different friends. If you look at our friend David, he has the bazillion poems that he keeps creating and he's amazing at it. Others follow a lot of our bloggers and they have similar genre of of their poetry. And then others are artists. We have all sorts of people in the world and we each find our niche somehow. One thing, however, I think is pretty clear is we need to pave a path of emptiness inside. Now today we're sitting outside because it's my favorite place to be when I'm doing something where I'm creating and nature speaks to me. So we have a few choices here. We can hear these amazing birds. We can hear the squawky birds, or we can hear my freeway in the background. Ye or the plane that just went overhead. You may have heard them both. What I think is really vital is that we choose where we want to put our attention and just trust that. Trust the empty spaces inside. Creati creativity comes from that space where we give our minds a chance to rest. I don't know about you, but I've actually heard it from some of you. Some of my biggest inspiration will come from the middle of the night where I just wake up and there's a thought and I've got to write it down. So I why don't you say give yourself that space and that time and things do come together into fruition for you to create what it is that you want to birth from day to day. Have a wonderful day and I will look forward to seeing you soon with some more tips from my book, Recreate and Celebrate. Have a great day. Bye bye.